What's up, guys? So, this is the first episode of our new series. We're fresh on the server. Everybody's running around. Uh, probably just going to call this Road to Max Cape, Road to Completionist, whatever. We are an Iron Man. We are a, a master. So, we've got the hardest mode. We've got uh, Iron Man and everything. Let's, uh, let's get started. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I guess my first thing is I want to work on all of these achievements. Let's, uh, let's see these achievements here. A lot of them are pretty simple. Like, for example, if we just go southeast... Do, do, and we enter this little thingy over here should complete our very first achievement and I think it just gives us coal ore if I'm not if I'm remembering correctly bam yeah 250 coal ore Woo, we did it first achievement so my my main plan is to basically work on all of these and it's going to give me something to go for so what I want to do to train my combat stats is do the bears also that's you wear helmet needs not so it just makes a lot of sense let's go start on that um, a lot of people are going to go to train and uh you, there's some bears here uh but once you have a higher combat level there's these bears called golden bears and they're actually uh at pictoris like the fishing place so i'm gonna want to go kill those uh but i'll resume with something more interesting when i have a couple stats or something like that so these cash cats has, cash kits are pretty good gave a nice chunk of money money doesn't probably not gonna be an issue for uh, Iron Man. I did make some minor changes to where, I shouldn't say minor because they're kind of big. Uh, I did make some changes to which shops Iron Man can access and whatnot. Uh, mainly with the rain shops, they can no longer buy runite bolts, uh, and then they can no longer buy the gear, the equipment. So, certainly a uh, certainly a little nerf there, but, uh, you know, we'll see. And then we'll, you know, obviously make changes here and there. I, I believe some of the other shops we can't use. We can't use the crafting shop and we can't use the food shop, I believe. Okay, so I am in the wilderness. I kind of expected there to be a person. I, I legitimately did. I thought it might be, like, one person. I kind of want to be that guy. I want to be the guy that just is here with, like, my fire staff and stuff. Uh, but no one is here, and we're getting our free prayer experience. So this server does have construction, and construction works. So uh, the only altar you can, like, the altar you can make, the gilded altar, uh, you do need the construction levels, and you need all the supplies for it. The altar at home, you cannot use bones on it. The only other altar you can use is this one right here in the wilderness, um, which is also nice because you actually, I don't know if you're noticing, but you do get a chance at saving some of your bones. So that is almost our highest skill. I want to get a uh, really high prayer because Mutant Tarn is, there's one achievement for him. Uh, which one is it? Uh, knowledge, right? There's for knowledge, yeah. It's pretty simple. You just need to get a salve amulet and you need to get the... Uh, the um the book the book is only one in 20 and all you really have to do to fight the boss is pray melee so my plan is to get pretty decent range level which i probably should start working on now get some uh prayer levels and then uh work on that and that'll be two free barrels items just using some bones are we gonna get killed <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised if he's the one that tries it but uh, uh we got 45 prayers so we can already do protect from melee that's the main thing we want I'm still going to finish up the rest of the bears, and I'm going to bury all the bones just to get as high as we possibly can. And then we'll move on to the next thing. So some people might not know these exist. If you go to Piscatoris, and then down here through this, and then uh, they're all along the coast. Well, really on the north side and the south side. But you have some more bears over here. These are called golden bears. They have slightly different drops, slightly different stats. I'm just going to kill some of these and see, uh, you know, what's good. Yay, we got the bear with me achievement done. How of needs not on the floor. We got our mystery box. I might save the mystery box because I already know they're going to get buffed soon. And I'm not sure if there's anything in the particular one we could even get. I know there's like a couple random things like Robin Hood hat and some various other things. Ah, fuck it. First one. That's actually really nice. That's a good call. <laughs> that, that, nice, nice call. I got a bird's nest first tree. Nice. And that's that achievement done too. And we managed to get the message in a bottle achievement, which is just uh, get a clue scroll bottle. Okay, so I just did that easy clue. Uh, it was pretty simple one step. Uh, nothing too impressive, Rip. But that was a uh, thingy, so now we get a hard clue, and uh, again, nothing too, <laughs> too good. We do have a hat now, though, so that's good. And there is the pesky weeds achievement. Just an ectophile, but it is another achievement done. Let's get ourselves a house. 
10,000 coins. I believe we get some planks. Yep, nice. That's, that'll be good for starting our construction. Oh, all right, that is slaughter. That is the uh, uh, just complete a slayer task. Also, it is a wilderness slayer task, so no. Complete 50 wilderness slayer tasks. Oh, well, fuck me, because that, that, this is a wilderness task and it didn't work, so shit. <laughs> uh, well, it should have worked. Anyways, moving on. When you're killing monsters in the wilderness, you have a chance at these resource packs. Um, we ended up getting two. Let's see if we get anything good. 15 Cerebrus, 35 Mana Rays. That's really good. That's that's going to help us out pretty good. I need to probably nerf those for Iron Man. <laughs> that's probably too good. And there we go. We finished part four. We're going to keep doing some agility. Uh, probably going to focus on Agile and just get the Hosta right away. The, uh, the, the crossbow would be really nice, but that achievement is pretty hard. I might... I don't know if I'm going to lower it, but I'm at least going to make like the process of getting the implings better. I'm going to add more implings and make the chance of catching them better. Because as is, it is a lot harder than the other two. So I think the Agile one is a lot more doable, basically. Just train agility, and it should help us uh, with our run energy. You do have to have run energy on the server, so uh, yeah. Okay, so I made my way to the Lava Maze. There is an achievement here. All you have to do is... Loot the undead or the dead miners' uh, boots of lightness. I should see a pickaxe and some bones and boots of lightness. All I gotta do is pick them up. Boom! A free mill. Nice. I was gonna die here, but now I'm gonna lose the mill. So crap. I guess I'll just loot a couple pairs. And there we go. 75 agility. We can finally do prif course. Can get the agile achievement done. I've been doing this like pretty much the entire time. I've like. It's 8 p.m. today, and that's all I've been doing is agility, so can't wait to get this finished. Yay, we did the Agile Achievement 100 laps. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's all I've done since I've uh, since I started for like a day straight. Uh, it's agility, we have our Elven Hosta upgrade scroll. We're going to have to work on that in a little bit. That's probably going to be our next plan is to get uh, our uh, melee stats up and everything. Uh, there's going to be an update in like an hour, so I'm just going to hold this mystery box for now. Nice thing about that is doing that achievement actually gives you straight enough points to buy barrels gloves. So now we are rocking barrels gloves. Can we wear those? We can. Yes. Nice. Look at us. Stylish. All right. So after killing some dragons, we have 60 attack. Let's make our upgrade. Okay. So all we have to do is use the Elven Hosta upgrade scroll on the Hosta. And boom. Titan's Hosta. I don't know if anyone else has this. It's not crazy hard to make. And I know of a couple people who certainly could have made one if they wanted to. But... Nice. Let's look at the stats. Uh, it's about tier 65-ish or so. E, e. Very nice. Very nice. So now we can do some actual training. The range one is kind of harder to get because I have to go catch 300 implings. It's going to take a little while. Uh, but the melee one was definitely one of the easiest ones to get. And the agility will help us. So now we can actually play. We can go do stuff. Uh, I guess we'll just keep working on achievements, right? That's always the goal. Nice. I just finished the wilderness achievement. We actually had to change it. Um, it was before it was um, 50 Wilderness Slayer tasks. It wasn't working, and uh, I just didn't want to sit there and try to fix it, so I just kind of made it. Find a Laren's Key while slaying. Um, it's a 1 in 100 chance, 1 on task, and I uh, got it first task, so that's actually pretty lucky. Just been doing some Hunter. Got 29 Hunter. Basically, at 17, I've just been here. And we are one impling off of the first uh, impling achievement, Impetuous Impulses. You do have to do 300 to get uh, Hunter's Vision done, which is the uh, the bounty, uh, the Beast Hunter. I always call it Bounty Hunter because, I don't know, just BH in my head is always Bounty Hunter. I might have to... I didn't, ran out of space, <laughs> so I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Dragon impling, dragon long. That's kind of meh. If you're wondering where the Dragon Impling came from, that was the reward from the Impetuous Impulses. So, uh, yeah, i uh, probably going to take a break from now. I, 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 my plan is to add more spawns here, and then I also want to sort of tweak the amount you catch them, because it feels really slow to catch Implings. And I like even on my like the, the admin account with 99 Hunter, um, like it's this, the timer doesn't seem like it's based on anything. It's just a long-ass timer, so... I'm definitely going to tweak that a little bit. So I think before I make any improvements to this, I'll probably just wait. All right, so I actually want to do some fishing, and I want to get the Karambalon Vessel, and then I also want to get a Draymond Staff. Do I have enough points? Yeah, nice. So now we can actually do some uh, Karambalon fishing. 
So if you're wondering how I'm going to get, like, Karambuans and fishing and all that, we're going to go to configure, I think it's DKP. Should be, yeah, south of Musa Point. Nice. Go to DKP. That should take us there. And then when we bank, we'll just bank in Zanaris. So uh, this is basically how I do it on old school. So you just, you do a lot of things exactly how you do it on old school. 